But Neil, that was uh, rather a rude awakening in the end for Durham. Oh, I think it certainly was. Um, certainly not a performance that we wanted to put out first up in this competition. And um, I think the lads will be sat in there wondering how we move on from there. And um, I think we certainly lost to a, the better team on the day. And there's a lot of areas that we need to improve and improve quickly. They were a, a youthful side. I know Durham are missing in four key players who you may have expected to play in this through injury. But you look through the... The Surrey team, a sprinkling of academy and generally second team players, not many with regular first team experience there. Yeah, I mean that's going to be the case in a lot of teams in this competition, um, but that's no excuse for the way that we played. We've got to play better cricket than what we did today. Batting wise, I was wondering at the halfway stage if 181 mightn't be that bad at all. Was it a tricky track to bat on? But I mean, Surrey put that to bed pretty quickly, didn't they? Yeah, I don't think it was a tricky track to bat on. It, uh, it was tricky early, early up. Um, and we knew that if we'd won the toss we would have bowled also um, and I think you've just got to sometimes get through that early part of the innings and then look to put a score on the board uh, we knew that at the score we had we were way under par um, you mean to be fair probably 300 was a par score on that five catches went down I think Liam Travaskis with his athleticism got towards two of them that probably some other players wouldn't have done but three catches that should have been taken yeah without a doubt there's no excuse for that that's just not good enough and um, that's an area that we pride ourselves on and I'm sure that's an area which we'll work hard over the next few days leading into the next game and make sure we put that right. And what have you said at the uh, the full-time meeting there? Uh, I haven't said anything yet because I've done your interview first so um, I'm sure we'll chat in there and, and we'll talk about um, where we are and look we're still in a good place. Um, we've practiced really well, the guys have um, spoke confidently, we just haven't got it right today and we've got to put it right for the next game. How much slack is uh, in the system with regards to personnel? I know there's your son Mitchell who, who's been bowling today and could come into the team. Paul Coughlin, I gather, is nearing a return and Sean Dixon, but have you got much flexibility? Yeah, we look, we've got players that are getting very close to being fit again. Um, we've got lads who are in the squad and I think throughout this competition we're going to use a number of players um, and I think as long as they're, they're fully fit and proven fully fit then we'll consider them for the squad. Now Michael Jones I gather could well be going off to a, another Scotland one day international squad in the near future and what's the situation with him and, and Alex Lees how long do you think you have them available for? Uh, well Alex Lees is available for the next game um, Michael Jones leaving for a Scotland squad's news to me so um, that's something which will be discussed and um, I'm sure we'll, we'll find that out in the near future and quickly put this behind you because the next match is on Sunday yeah they come thick and fast in this competition and um, that's the exciting part about it and I think anybody that looks at this performance just sees an opportunity in the next game to put it right and hopefully we're up for that challenge